Welcome. In continuation of our How to Use series, let's talk about nebulizers today. If you're watching this video, then you might have been prescribed a nebulizer for the first time. So we'll be talking about which nebulizer to buy, how to use it, what are the things to take care of while considering a nebulizer therapy. So a nebulizer is actually nothing but a medical device that converts liquid medicine into aerosols or mist. So this mist formulation takes the medicine directly into your lungs. Nebulizers can be given on a short term basis in case you are suffering from any acute bronchitis, severe allergies, any problem that causes breathing disturbance or even in pneumonias. However, a lot of patients with long-standing respiratory diseases like COPD and asthma also require nebulizers on a long term. Now, if your doctor chose a nebulizer for you, it does not mean that you will be always dependent on a nebulizer. So rest assured, it is just a medical device that will help you get the medicine in the right way. A lot of our patients are concerned about which nebulizer to consider when they are buying it for use. Nebulizers come in three types. One are the compressor, jet or piston pump nebulizers. Now these you will find very easily in the market and most of the nebulizers that you find in the market will be a compressor nebulizers. These are a bit bulky, they are also noisy, however they are having a good efficiency and they can be used in our day-to-day -day routine for nebulization. Each nebulizer comes with a power and this power specification tells us how long the nebulizer medicine can give the medication. So if you are a user who will require nebulizer on most of the days of the week for most of the time then you need to buy a nebulizer which gives you enough power and rate and performance. Compressor nebulizers usually can deliver most of the respiratory medications that we prescribe and they are most versatile to use with only main disadvantage of speed being a bit slow in delivering the medicine so taking a longer time for the inhalation and secondly the noisy element. The second type of nebulizer that is available now easily are mesh nebulizers. Mesh nebulizers come in the form of portable handheld nebulizers. They basically have ultrasonic vibrations that help vibrate a mesh and this mesh in turn converts the nebulized solution into mist. The main advantage of mesh nebulizers are that they make the device more portable, lightweight, easy to take and handle. The only major disadvantage is with the maintenance of mesh nebulizers. So for people who use suspension of aerosol, so if you've been prescribed a steroid combination, if you have been prescribed some drug formulation, which are in suspension formulation then this kind of a nebulizer may have some problems related to its maintenance on a long term use. So for example if someone has been prescribed budesonide nebulization or steroidal component nebulization the suspension being thick can actually hamper the production of aerosols through the fine mesh. So these nebulizers require more maintenance, probably cleaning after every use and then on a long term basis they may be slightly less long lasting than a compressor nebulizer. However, the delivery of medication and efficacy are equally comparable to other nebulizers available and they are a good go for those who want the nebulizer to have less noise. So if you're using it for a child, a baby, if you're using it for an elderly who may not wish to have 
a loud noise then mesh nebulizers may be the right choice the third kind of nebulizers that are available but i must say less commonly available in the market when you go to buy them are ultrasonic nebulizers here ultrasonic vibrations directly into the solution produce the nebulized particles these are highly efficient they can be used for all kinds of medication and they also come in portable versions however it will be less likely to find them easily over the counter stores but they are very efficient and they can produce very small uh, diameter size of the aerosols and can reach deeper tissues we specifically prescribe these to patients who require long term nebulization who require fine particle deposition in the lung patients with copd patients with cystic fibrosis so if you're looking for something that can last and also be highly efficient then these are also a very good choice